Who else is in love with the new Cezanne Fall Collection? I have brought here some pieces to show you. I was actually not gonna share this week. I was going to space out the Cezanne reviews because I know I've done maybe three reviews in a row. But at the same time, I thought it would make sense to just share right away before these pieces sell out and you're trying to get any information on them. As always with these videos, my intention is not that you go ahead and buy all these pieces. We don't need new clothes every week every month you really don't however i know that some of you don't have a store nearby and you don't know how they will fit or what they look like in real life so i hope this video is helpful as always if it is don't forget to give the thumbs up so the first piece that i'm gonna share with you is this absolutely gorgeous pair of pants this is the Damiano pants. Everything is going to be linked below if you want any extra information, but I'm going to be measuring this for you. This uh, pair of pants is in gold leather, so it's 100% leather suede, and it is completely lined, so it's really comfortable. I'm wearing here the size 36. All my measurements are also down below. Cezanne says that if you're in between sizes, you should size down. And I am in between 36 and 38, which is US 4 and 6. And I went with the 4 and I am actually happy with it. You can definitely see there is a gap on my waist, but this is something that happens with pretty much all pants that I try because of my waist to hip proportion. I do have a smaller waist compared to my hip. So the thing with these pants is that even though I do have the gap, I feel that I could still make it work just by wearing a sweater that covers the back. And if the pants are a little bit lower, they're not super high-waisted, they don't show the gap as much. So they do feel really comfortable everywhere. I don't feel like they're super tight on my hips. I can actually sit down, I can walk without feeling anything is wrong with it. The only area that I think it sticks out a bit is the pocket. And I can't say for sure if it's the sizing or if it's just because it's leather and it's a little bit stiff. Even though I said that the pockets can be a little bit sticking out, like feeling stiff, they're not a stiff pair of bands. They're actually really soft and really malleable, so you can see how fluid the fabric gets um, when you're wearing. And these pants are available in some beautiful colors. I wish I could have one of each. The most beautiful one, in my opinion, is the light purple, but I would have such a hard time styling this with my current wardrobe that I decided to get the blue because I thought it would be the best color. They're also available in a beautiful bright yellow, like a mustard saffron color, gorgeous. And they also have this in smooth leather, which would probably be the easiest one to maintain. The, I think suede is really high maintenance and it can be tricky to wear if you are around kids. If you live in a city that rains a lot, I think these are not the pants for you. It might be really tricky to keep them looking clean, fresh and new. I am actually going to look for a spray because I wanna make sure that I protect this. I actually have not decided if I'm gonna keep it or not. I do have other Cezanne pieces that are in suede. They held up amazing. I have the Robin shorts and a few others actually that I really love. But these have a darker color and that makes it a lot easier to keep just clean. I feel like with the blue, I would have to be more careful. With the lavender, even more. I don't think I can make that work with my lifestyle. But yes, the pants are incredible. I think they are more flattering than I thought. I thought they were gonna be super stiff and weird, but I absolutely love how they fit. I think the length is great, so if you're petite, I don't think this is gonna be a huge problem for you. It would likely be a full length kind of pants, not a cropped one. But for me, I'm 5'5", five 166 centimeters. It feels like in between, like it's around my ankles. So it's not a full length, but it's also not completely cropped. So I really love them. As you can see, it is a beautiful vintage blue, but it does have a hue of purple. So it's not a blue like this, for example. You can see a little bit of the difference. This is the Angelique. This is the Tobias. And this one is the Gaspar. So it is a little bit lavender sometimes, depending on the shade, but it's this gorgeous dusty blue, amazing color. If they make this in green, what am I gonna do? My gosh. Now the next piece I'm gonna review is the Angeli sweater. And this is so beautiful. Look at all these details. I do have Angeli from last year in the beige color. They took a while to release a new color and I'm so, so, in love with this one i do love dusty blue 
I already told you guys that in my past life I was a broom because I just love dusty things. This, for example, is in the vintage blue, but you can see that the colors, they're not the same. This is a little bit on the pale side compared to that. That's definitely more saturated and definitely a cool tone. If you haven't done your color analysis and you're looking for something on the cool side, I think this would be great. This is definitely warmer. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. So for Angelie, I chose my usual size, which is small and I think it fits perfectly. I would not size down for this one or up unless you really want it more oversized. But I do feel like this is a feminine cut. It's not going to be great if you size up that much, unless you wanna keep, you know, you want to layer this, you wanna wear something underneath. But personally, I don't feel this is very itchy. I would say in a scale from zero to 10, this is like between one and two. It's really not that itchy. The gas part is a lot itchier, at least on me. And I absolutely love how this feels. It does feel really soft. And when you put on, if you're very sensitive to wool, you're gonna feel a little bit of the scratchiness. But like I said, it's really not that bad. I love the details on Angelie. I don't think this color is for me. I do love it, so wear whatever you like. I do feel like I have so many clothes that I know it's not the perfect color for me, but I still enjoy them. I just like them and it doesn't matter. I think you should really wear what makes you feel happy and what makes you feel comfortable. Angelie is 33% kid mohair, 33% wool, 28% polyamide, and 6% elastane. Now, since we're talking about blue, I wanted to show you the Tobias. I was very curious to see this in person because I saw in the lookbook when they were going to release and I never ordered until now. They have this in beige as well. It is a beautiful style. I actually have something similar to this from another brand and I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. I absolutely love this. Look at this gorgeous detail here, how the zipper is. I also love that this gold here is just a bit muted. It doesn't feel like that super bright gold. And it's not silver, which is the most casual one. I do feel like this was a beautiful touch. Personally, I love the sweater. I think it's thick, it's just warm and cozy. It is itchy, so this is definitely on the itchy side. Uh, if you're sensitive to wool, that's not for you unless you want to wear something underneath. But I still feel like this might bother you because if you don't have any fabric covering your skin, you're going to be in touch with that. So I could easily wear that, but I just prefer something a little on the softer side that just feels like buttery soft. Especially when it comes to loungewear, I do feel like this is way more casual then Anjali, for example, this is a more dressy sweater. You can see it has a very special detail. Um, basically everywhere, the lace, the buttons, the neckline, everything. This one is more, it feels more like a sweatshirt kind of style. And I do think it is very versatile. You could wear it in many ways, but the fact that it's a little bit itchy, I think I'm not gonna keep it. I do love the quality though. I think it's a gorgeous piece. I got this one in size small, again, my usual size, and I have a very similar one from Quince that I got a while ago, and it's holding up really well. It has alpaca, so you can see in the mod shot that it's basically the same cut, but it's definitely softer and it drapes more. You can see it's on the thinner side. This could be a good thing for some of you if you live in a mild climate area. But if you want something chunkier, I would go with the Cezanne. I know this is a very popular style. A lot of brands are making this. I know that Everlane has it too. So I'm going to link everything that I find below in different price points so you can choose which one is best for you. Composition is 38% polyamide, 31% super kid mohair, 30% wool, and 1% elastane. Now one more sweater that I really wanted to try and I couldn't because it was sold out very, very fast is the Amiel jumper, and I do love it. I love this knit so much. It's really oversized. It is really, oh, it feels like a blanket. I love the fit. The collar is fantastic. I think this charcoal is just so good. I really feel great in it. Feels like a modern kind of collar. I really like it. I think it's gorgeous. And I am pairing with the Wallace shorts, which I'm gonna talk to you about in a minute. So Amiel is also in size small. I did not size down for this one. They do say if you're in between sizes, you should size down, but I do prefer the more oversized fit. So I would only go a size down if you want it more fitted, but this, in my opinion, is meant to be a more oversized fit. Amiel has 68% baby alpaca, 30% polyamide, and 2% elastane. 
So I am super in love with this one, uh, but I do have to tell you something. I heard from a lot of you and other people that this was a super soft sweater. So let's talk about softness. <laughs> this, when you touch, it does feel like a cloud. It feels like a blanket. It feels like a cotton ball. It's just so plush. But when I put on, I do feel some scratchiness. I do, especially around my neck. So I don't know if I'm super sensitive to wool or maybe it's just this area that's just insanely itchy. But yes, when I tried this, I was expecting this to be soft everywhere. And like I said, it is soft, it is plush, it feels so good when you touch. But on me at least, when I put on, I did feel some scratchiness. It wasn't that bad. I would say the areas that scratch me is, I would say it's a little bit scratchier than Angelie. But it's not throughout the sweater, it's just in a few areas. For me, it was basically the neckline and a little bit of the cuffs. So I do have a shirt that I wear underneath. It's the Uniqlo and I'm going to link for you guys below. It's a long sleeve shirt, very lightweight. And I love to wear these under my sweaters because they can be washed more often. Talking about washing, I don't know if you guys saw, but I shared a video washing my knits. So I washed this, my Gaspar, the Betty cardigan, the Matthew pants, and also my Lena jumper. So if you're interested to know how to wash and care properly for your knits, I think this would be a wonderful video for you to watch. So Amiel is a keeper. I think from all of these, this is my favorite one, the pants and this one. I don't think I'm keeping Angelie or Tobias, even though I love them. I just feel like this would be the most versatile out of all of them. And I absolutely love how this pairs with the Wallace shorts. So these fit, okay, so I tried the 36, size 4 US, and it was... It was okay, I think it fits my waist perfectly, but the 38 fits my hips perfectly. So what do I do? Do I make a Frankenstein kind of shorts? Take one part from one and another part from another. Uh, so the 36 didn't feel great. I just felt like even though it was great for my waist, the pleats didn't look very nice because it wasn't loose enough. So I decided to size up for the 38. And to me, it feels like a wonderful size. This one is in 100% wool, so it has a bit of a scratchy feel when you touch. It's not very soft. However, it is completely lined, and this is really, really comfortable. This is probably in viscose. It feels really nice when you put against your skin. I do love the color. Personally, I feel like this can be worn, I would say, any time of the year because it's not a very warm kind of shorts. I'm wearing here with tights, so you can see that it's a really gorgeous look i love how they they look together but you can easily wear this for example during spring with something more lightweight or like a shirt a lace shirt a white shirt or something like that and it's still going to work really well i feel like i'm going to wear this a lot during the fall i have so many outfits planned for that i think the shorts are really nice and i don't really have a lot of shorts i don't feel that comfortable wearing shorts and just, I wanted to try something different this time. I said, you know, I spend most of the year just wearing pants and I wanted to try something different because I just like trying those things. It's not trendy. It's just something that I love how it looks, but I never did. So I'm definitely going to pair this many times with different tops and, and also the, the tights. So let me know what you guys think. Do you have the Wallace shorts? I think these are a fantastic pair of shorts. I do like them more than the Rome shorts. I have tried the Rome many times and it's just not for me. I don't know if I tried the wrong size, but I just didn't love them. But the Wallace is just a fantastic pair. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give the thumbs up, leave a little comment below, even again, if it's just a tiny emoji or just a smile or just anything really, it helps the channel so very much. Thank you a lot for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye bye.